Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 11 March on a new Monday after the non farms miss and higher average hourly earnings on Friday. Things have been pretty quiet overnight. Uh, you see all these risk bars on the dailies. Left big long tails. Here's the Aussie yen. Here's the crude. Uh, and here's the ES. This is a warning, uh, and normally will bleed into more upside, uh, upside movements. For confirmation that this is going to be an upside squeeze, we do technically need 27.57 to trade. We did not get that yet. 55.75 is not a new high. Um, we're back at 47 right now. Keep in mind this trade, is, this this chart is delayed. Uh, so, remains to be seen. We've hedged some of our uh, short structures that we put on up at 28.10. And we remain core short, but less core short is the best way to describe it. In the currency world, uh, not super clear what we're going to do here. We do have some German numbers, industrial production and trade balance this morning. Uh, we got Euro Group meetings going on, which could lend some some uh, headlines, and we have retail sales out of the U.S. These are the sort of the risk moments out here. Euro looks like a sell on 12.75. Not sure we're going to get up there, to be fair, because I believe these German industrial production numbers will be weak. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, we squared up our Aussie yen here, 78.20. No real love on that. No real loss either. Just kind of scratch that. We're going to relook at it with fresh eyes now. And in general, we're basically mildly risk off, but we're a little bit worried about these bars. So um, let's look at this Aussie. Aussie looks like we're going to go sideways here. Uh, I don't think we're going to get above. Uh, 70 60 but if we do we have to worry just a little bit an hourly close above 70 60 and it's slightly worrying um, so let's keep an eye on that and cable gap down a little bit this morning on this Brexit -y stuff uh, I would just tend to avoid cable uh, my intuition says this is going to shoot higher with some sort of quasi deal um, but my practical side and my risk management side just says avoid cable for now. Finally, uh, dollar yen. As you can see, there's not a lot to digest this morning. Uh, dollar yen didn't have as big of a tail as the other risk metrics. We did put this uh, sort of same low. This was uh, 66. This was mile well, 74. I think dollar yen's probably a sell on rally up at uh, 111.40, but we're waiting for some more evidence and we're waiting for some more price confirmation on either side here on the tactical book. So, in general, we're going into this open square um, and we're going to start looking at this week tactically uh, with fresh eyes. The medium term book is still short SPs. Um, we've hedged the stuff we sold up at at uh, 28.10 and we're also structurally short boons um, this one is uh, a little more tricky for those of you who don't trade at fixed income but we do think um, this boons move is overdone the chart is less meaningful in boons because it's new contract and you really want to look at the interest rate chart so we think this is going to turn here the low in Boons is going to be five basis points, and we expect this to move back up towards 20 and even higher. So, tactically short Boons again. Not a whole lot to sink your teeth into this morning, so be patient, um, and let's see how things go. There'll be more ideas and commentary on Twitter. Good luck out there, people. Make some money. Ciao.